and once again, welcome to Flash University. In this installment, we're going to talk about the FTS 371 Smart Vanguard Red LED system. The 371 Smart is designed to meet FA and IKO lighting standards. It comes equipped with three dry contacts for alarm monitoring, as well as Modbus through RS-485 or SNMP with the addition of an FTM-190. The 371 Smart can operate up to two red LED beacons and up to eight LED side markers. The system will come pre-programmed from the factory, but this can be easily changed via the configuration switches and dials. The Smart Controller also offers programming options for catenary installations, flashing markers, enhanced remote diagnostics, field upgradable firmware with the use of a USB drive, replaceable fuses, a GPS interface option, as well as a built-in function to assist with lighting inspections. Now let's get a closer look at the connection points on the controller board. The input voltage will connect to J1 and can be supplied with AC or isolated DC voltage depending on the system type that is ordered. The AC input systems will accept a range of 85 to 265 volts AC at 50 to 60 Hz and the DC powered systems can accept either a positive or negative 24 to 48 volts DC. The flash head will connect to J2 of the controller board and must match the incoming DC voltage of the controller to avoid system damage. Verify by checking the sticker found on the inside of the flash head. Also confirm that the ground wire of the flash head cable is attached to the pre-installed grounding lug as found on your supplied quick start guide. The markers will connect to J3. Ensure the white blue wire is connected to the position labeled sense for proper alarming. The mode change device called the photodiode will connect to J5 on pins 7, 8, and 9. Now additionally, the LED flash head does come equipped with the intelligence to operate as a standalone flash head. This means that with the addition of a powered photo cell, the flash head can operate without the use of a lighting controller. Utilizing the configuration switches found in the inside of the flash head, you can adjust the flash rate, burst duration, and the appropriate FAA or IKO settings. Well, that'll do it for this session. Don't forget to visit flashtechnology.com under products for additional system information and to request a formal quote.